What's up, my babies? Life rips. And this is episode 172 of Congratulations. Crazy. Crazy. dude life fucking r- and i'm changing it to life friggin rips because we don't swear because we're mormon um well, dude when i was in high school the mormon girls liked me because i was a bad boy but i wasn't really a bad boy you know what i mean i didn't do drugs and stuff but all these mormon girls were like oh he's not mormon you know what i mean that was the thing that was how they used to like get back at their family by like not too much go for the major bad boy dude or a black guy but they would go for your boy and so um Anyway, so probably get canceled for that. So we're doing uh, we're doing it here. We're doing it live. It's a fly by the seat of the pants episode, and it's also firing on, firing on all cylinders, and it's also at the fucking nighttime podcast, dude. The nighttime podcast is the shit, and we're already one more minute down. We're 59 minutes from collecting bags. Life rips, man. This shit's on. Shit's on. I'm wearing my mask less and less, mostly just indoors, but it's all good. How about people who drive when they wear the mask? What are you doing? That's like being in your fucking house. With your mask on. Um, I saw Segura had the fucking Instagram where he said, look, I'm driving like one of the fucking idiots. And he had a fucking mask on when he was driving. Um, yeah, dude. But uh, that's that's it. And my fucking dog has got AIDS all over his face. Fuck yeah, dude. Butters is di- probably going to die. Dude, He Butters looks like the guy from the Goonies with the bent ear. He just looks like he's a, st- a breath away from being like, hey, you guys. Dude, he had a fucking eye problem, so I took him to the vet. And when you go to the vet, you got to wait in the car, and then the nurse comes out, and then you hand the fucking dog over to the vet, and then the vet f- walks it in. And then you wait in the car like a big, dumb fucking idiot. Uh, and I was, and, and I'm in the car for fucking one hour. And then they come back, and they're like, yeah, so he's got an eye infection. And I'm like, oh, oh, really? How did you figure that out? Because his eye is all fucking caked up. Why did why, you figure that out? Because he's the only dog I've ever seen with conjunctivitis. And, um, and so they were like, just put these drops in it every three hours. And so I did. And it moved to his other eye. Yes! Now it's in both eyes. Yes! Down. We did a little down. Oh, dude, and that wasn't it. So we started putting the drips in the second eye. And then guess what, dude? Oh, fuck yeah, dude. It spread to his nose. How did it do it? Hey, stop moving the light around down there. Um, And how did it spread to his nose, dude? His nose looks like a fucking barnacle. So that's bad. So his nose looks like some barnacles and his eyes look like they're fucking caked up. Caked up eyes and fucking nose barnacle. And uh, so it looks really bad. So anyway, taking him into the vet tomorrow, and who knows if it's his last day or not. In the meantime, trash dog Chen's, uh, I talk about him, I still call him trash dog on the, on, the, on the Rogan podcast. He's always going to a fucking superstar, uh, superstar. Hey, could you be more distracting down there? I mean, Jesus Christ. Um, I took Trash Dog to the fucking, um, to the vet because, why? Well, I don't know. We found this dog, I told you, near Target, like it was shopping for some fucking placemats or some shit. Uh, and went to, uh, went, 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 uh, and, and so, I don't know, all of a sudden he started wincing and shit. I think he was probably abused. But I'm a fucking savior, so I keep him and I keep him nice, and I don't fucking, you know, I keep him real nice. And as frustrating as he is, because he shits everywhere and fucking vomits everywhere, I still hold my cool, and I'm like, it's okay, it's okay. And he barks and fucking wakes the baby up and just everything, dude. And I just go, okay, all right, all right, Jens. It's not even his name. I made up a name for him. Trash dog, scraps, fucking rat fuck. Anyway, um, run away, dude. So, so one day he's fucking, you know, you know, a dog's in trouble when they're just like this. What? When they look like a fucking, uh, a, 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 um, a private, uh, uh, when they look like Donnie Brasco, the fucking Johnny Depp at the end of, uh, at the end of the movie where he's like, no, 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 I'm a, I'm a mafia guy. 
And they're like, what What the fuck? You, you weren't aware? What? Sorry. Uh, no. I'm a dog. <laughs> it's all good. Arf. Rough. Rough, rough, rough. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Oh, a bone. <laughs> and uh, guys in the van, guys in the van just hearing arf, quieter. Arf, arf. Uh, and so, um, man, imagine being one of those guys in the van, how important you feel and how fucking dumb you look, too. Because you're just so cooped up and you're, and you're listening to the guy who was, who's wearing a wire and you're in a fucking flower van. <laughs> and uh, And so he was just chilling, not moving. And my girl's like, it, it, it's something w- is weird. And I'm just like, oh, for fuck's sake, now you think something's wrong again, you know? I, I don't know. I don't know. And I'm like, no, it's fine, you know? He, he's just a dog. He'll, he'll, he'll be fine. He's just being really weird. And I'm like, what do you mean? And she's just like, I don't know. It's just like, it's just like really like cautious. I'm like, all right. And she's like, yeah. I think it's like, for no reason, just, I think it's like neurological. Oh, oh. Right, cause you're a fucking vet, dude. Chicks will just fucking make shit up, man. I think it's a neurological thing. Why? I just, you know, if I just. So I'm like, all right. So take him to the fucking vet. And and the vet's like, he pulled his back. Oh, really? Is that so fucking neurological? So he pulled his fucking back. So she. She gave the vet gave him pills. Now I got to give him pills every fucking however many hours. And he's got like three pills like he's fucking some 80 year old uncle. And uh, they're in these blue bottles. And I go to sleep. I wake up and I look and there's fucking pill, pill bottles all over the goddamn living room floor. And I go, what the fuck? And they're empty, dude. And this fucking dog, this trash dog, ate 500 milligrams of fucking whatever the hell retinol is called. Like it was some fucking Funyuns, dude. And he's just, and I look back over him and he's just like this. What? Uh, our arf? <laughs> it's all good. I, I'm a regular dog. In the meantime, it's just arf. <laughs> 20 minutes go by. Arf. Everything's fine. Rough, rough. Is there a male man? Gunk. <laughs> nah, but he didn't. He was chilling. And I'm like, all right, let's leave him, dude. He fucking made his bed, dude. The dog ate 500 milligrams of retinol, whatever the fuck it's called. And my girl's like, we should go get to take him in. And I'm like, dude, we found the dog. If he, it was like the end of the Rocky where Dolph Lundgren is like, if he dies, he dies. That was me. I was Dolph Lundgren on my fucking trash dog. And she was like, I know you don't have a moral responsibility, but I am a moral person and I am a moral and moral and I'm a mortal. And so I was like, all right. So now I got to take the fucking trash dog to the fucking vet, to the animal hospital, which is, by the way, you're a real... And I'm just like, at least nobody's going to be at the animal hospital. Maybe the vet's closed. But, dude, the animal hospital, the line was longer than fucking goddamn in and out It was longer than fucking, what was the Christ chicken? What's that place called? The Christ chicken place? The fucking, the place where they don't, they don't believe in gays? What the fuck is it? Chick-fil-A? Those fucking, so scared of cocks and butts. Anyway, Chick, it was like the line for Chick-fil-A, and I got to go, and I got to park, and now I'm waiting again. My dog butters at, with the fucking pink eye and barnacle nose at home, just like, I wonder where the fuck Trash Dog went. And and my fucking dog is just, and Trash Dog is just chilling in the fucking, in the baby seat behind my car, just looking at me. I'm like, it's not for you. Get the fuck out. Then the nurse comes with fucking gloves and a fucking mask, and she's like, is everything okay? I'm like, just take the goddamn dog and see what the hell's going on if he's alive or not. And they're like, well, we'd like to keep the dog for two days. I said, how much is that going to cost? And she's like, well, you know, you could take it for one day. And I said, how much is it going to cost? He said, we'll call you back. Call me back. It's going to cost four grand. Yeah, four fucking grand. Like it's some nice shoes. Like it's a blazer I got to wear three times. Dude, I'm not spending four grand on a dog I found near Target two months ago. Okay. I already got barnacle nose 
fucking costing me $800 on some eye drops that don't work. It's just making them worse. Looks like fucking Matt Damon at the end of Contagion. And so now this dog, uh, I got it. I'm like, no, bring the dog back. They're like, well, we don't recommend it. Well, I said, well, really? Well, I recommend you giving me my fucking dog back. So I bring the dog back. And now he's just chilling. They give him some charcoal. I don't know what the fuck. Like he was bad at Christmas. And they gave him some charcoal and they ate it. And then he shit out fucking black charcoal. They literally are like, well, his dog, if his poop is black, bring him in. And I said, you just give him charcoal. And they're like, well, okay, if it's black, like for the next day after the charcoal shit. And they're like, you have to bring him in the next day. And I'm like, I'm not doing that. And then you have to also bring him in on the 11th. I said, I'm not doing that. So uh, guess what? He's fine. Where is he? Where are you, trash dog? Come here, Chenzo. Chenzo, come here. Come here, buddy. Let Make your debut here. Come here. Come here, buddy. A good boy. He ran away. All right, you know, you don't listen to me and you just eat fucking pain meds like they're fucking Skittles. It's fine. It's fine. And uh, and he and he they don't even affect him, dude. He, they, he's so fucking. He doesn't give a shit, dude. He's like, you think pain meds fuck me up, dog? No way, man. No way, man. I eat trash. I straight up will eat a milk carton without the milk in it, man. I don't give a fuck, dog. When I leave your house, and I run away, I eat all sorts of shit. Leaves trash, Dunkin' Donuts wrappers, and also I fucking channel changers. If I find that, I don't give a fuck, man. Bandanas, COVID masks, full of COVID. I don't give a fuck, man. So I fucking, uh, lo- so I love this dog, I guess. I don't know, man. I- I'm a good guy deep down is what I am. It was, it was my point. I took this dog I found to the fucking thing. Uh, I spent, I think it was $900 on the goddamn guy. And they wanted me to spend an extra four grand. And I'm just like, dude, you know? So I ordered this fucking um, thing online, this cup I I have that this is made. This, uh, It's really good. You got to check it out. It's Emily Vandermey, V-A-N-D-E-R-M-E-Y.com. And you can order your animal's likeness. She draw. She writes, she draws it on the cup. She carves it into the cup. It's like a coffee mug. It's really fucking cool. And she's going to do one of Chenzo. They're good gifts if you do it. EmilyVanderMay.com. E-M-I-L-Y-V-A-N-D-E-R-M-E-Y.com. Go there and you can get your animal on this mug. And I'm going to get Chenzo, Trash Dog, on the mug. This way, if he runs away, I'm going to fucking remember him by just having him on my cup. Because, goddamn, I'm not looking for him again. If he eats more pills, he's gone, dude. If he's more pills, that's his shit, man. So you got to check that website out. It's really good the way that, the way she does it. You have to look. I can't believe how good it is. They did. She did one of Butters and Sam too, and Cooper, and it's fucking awesome. Anyway, um, check it out. Uh, so yeah. So by the way, he's fine. Thank God I didn't give him to the fucking four four grand police. Thank God I didn't give him to the to the because uh, he's okay. I know they milk you, dude. I'm no conspiracy theorist, but I know they milk you. Um, what the fuck was I gonna? Uh, oh, uh, oh yeah, dude. I don't know why the fuck this happened, but I have. And I, I I try to get the bottom of it. I just tried to find it out today. But like last ep- last episode of my podcast on YouTube. Um, there are certain parts of the world, it's regional, it's territorial, but uh, where there's like so many ads on it. And I don't know why. Now, now make no mistake, dude. I always want to get the most bags. And if you come in between me and my bags, I don't care. I'm still going to do it. That's the price to listen. But I did not okay this, and I don't know why all the ads are like... Some people are like, why are there so many ads? And there's like 15 of them, dude. Dude, trust me. If I'm going to do that many ads, I'm going to tell you. And I'm going to set it up and I'm going to be like, this is the ads episode. You motherfuckers are going to sit through all of them because I'm going to make this cash. But I didn't do that. So I'm trying to get to the bottom of it. I'm trying to fix it. I'm pissed off. It doesn't happen for everybody. But uh, some people, I don't know where in the world it's happening. But it's annoying as fuck, dude. YouTube is going through something different and it happened. Uh, So I'm trying to fix it. But whatever. Uh, It's all good. 
uh, I'm going to fucking figure it out. Um, dude, I love how Qu Quibi was like, this is that thing, man. Dude, I'm getting real good at knowing what's going to tank and what's not going to tank. Like, real good. Like, I know that movie with fucking where Chris Evans learned how to, where Chris Evans played the trumpet was going to tank. I knew that lawyer movie with fucking Michael Basketball Jordan was going to tank. I knew it. Because who the fuck cares? And I'm no knockout. Michael, B. Jo Michael Basketball Jordan is a great fucking actor. I love Michael Barbershop Jordan. And he is amazing. Michael Barnacle Jordan is amazing. And, um, but nobody's going to watch that movie where he's like a real lawyer and he's fucking popping out the seams, sejacked, you know, just like order, just like a fucking superhero order. He's so jacked. He fucking snorts creatine, you know, and he's going to be a lawyer. Imagine that guy showed up as your lawyer. He'd be like, this guy's got to be fucking joking, right? Guys that work out, fucking lawyers that work out, wake up at 5 a.m. and work out. And, um... And so, uh, but yeah, but so Quibi was just came out with underwhelmingly the amount of, uh, what do you call them, uh, subscriptions. I got it. I don't even know why. I, here's the thing. I got Quibi, and then I meant to watch it, and I didn't. And, and I knew that it wasn't going to come out banging out the gates because... And I'm not no knocking. I'm sure there's great shit on Quibi. Like they've got really good. I mean, Steven Spielberg is doing shit on there, and you know they got like cool people who do cool content and shit. But like, here's the deal: people don't care if it looks good nowadays. It it just reeks of like older guys trying to capitalize on the younger audience, and the younger audience already has that down. Like the younger audience is YouTube. It's fucking whatever the you know. TikTok, Instagram, it already has it down. You don't need to make a new one and try to cash in on it. No, I understand that's what they're trying to do. And they were trying to make it star-driven and okay. Like, they got, like, fucking crazy people on this Quibi shit. But, like, people don't... These kids don't care. No, You know what kids don't do? They don't look at their phone and go, okay, vertical? Cool. Dude, I've never once seen a kid holding a fucking phone like this unless they're playing a video game. Kids watch shit like this, dude. Nobody's going to turn their phone sideways to watch a fucking movie with that chick from Dark Phoenix. Nobody cares if it's nine minutes. Oh, yeah, it's, but it's bite-sized. Oh, I don't care. Is it Skittles? It, it's nothing. It's like. So anyway, it came out with underwhelmingly amount of uh, the amount of subscriptions. And uh, I knew that was going to happen. And you should have checked with me. Dude, these motherfuckers got to check with me, man. I know. Uh, but yeah, so whatever. You know what I knew was going to fucking do well? It's six, six, ten, Templashi Sex Nine. Templashi, com completion, completion f f 49. Dude, I knew fucking com completion 49 was, I knew completion Fortnite was going to fucking kill. That guy came out and he snitched, by the way, which is exactly what I would have done. Fuck yeah, dude. If I get caught, everybody's going to jail but me. Just so you know, if I get caught, Everybody's getting going to jail but me. Oh, you want to know who was in on it? Well, there was blam 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 blam. Me saying names: Brett and fucking Brett blam 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 blam. Michael blam 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 blam. Rachel blam 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 blam. And Carl drove blam 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 blam. That's me saying all sorts of names. I go like this: all the names on the fucking roll of toilet paper. That's who did it. Nice doing business with ya. So I fucking, so I fucking, you know, so suck me off to completion four nine came out. <laughs> Dude, so fucking suck me off to completion four nine snitch got out and made a music video and fucking broke the internet, dude. <laughs> Suck me off the completion, dude. Oh, my God, man. When I first heard somebody say, yeah, dude, she sucked me off the completion, I go like this. Here are my clothes. Here's everything I was going to eat. Here's everything I own. I'm not a person anymore.
Dude, you can't just say that and then fucking expect me to go on living. Ah, 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 ah. That's the fucking uh, bird. <laughs> so anyway, dude. Yeah, she sucked me off to completion, bro. Okay, man. What? Hey, dude. What blowjob stops? It doesn't stop unless you're going to get to go to have sex later. A blowjob is always to completion unless you're going to do sex later. You know what I mean? Let's go get Taco Bell. (laughs) No, it's always fucking, whoops, all over your face, kid. Do you remember that song? Give me that, that, that nut. Give me that. That, that, not that fucking easy E said disgraceful. Give me that, give me that, give me that, not. We go, we go, we, <laughs> it does the Green Acres song. We goes, Green Acres is the place to be. What did he say? Always fucking is the life for me. What's the first part? What's the first part? Oh, yeah. So fucking crass. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. He goes, and some pussy is the place to be. Always fucking is the life for me. Spread them legs open far and wide. Fuck this shit. Just let me put my dick inside. Ah, don't you have a dad? Don't say that because... I mean, dude, you know? This song is called Gimme That Nut. Oh. So crass. 14-year-olds loved it. I loved it, dude. I'd listen to it in my suburban. I'd be laughing, man. Anyway, what was I talking about? Fucking suck me off to completion. 4ix9ine came out and he snitched and he's bragging about it. And he broke the internet. 42 million views in 24 hours. And of course that was going to be a hit. Hey, Quibi, just fucking do that. Nobody's known for their fucking music anymore unless you're like Adele. That you got to do other shit. That's why it's like... I don't know. People ask me to do shit on... I'm like, nah, I just want to be a comedian, dude. You know, I don't want to do a fucking Zoom comedy show for fuck's sake. Some guy texted me the other day. Hey, I did my first Zoom comedy show and I ate shit. And I was like, how do you kill? Um, Yeah, but just so fucking bad. So I'll be off to completion, dude. <laughs> oh, wow, man. Um. So, yeah, I guess we can't play the video, but, I mean, dude, the guy just got, he got his teeth, what did he, I feel like he got his teeth done in prison. Dude, the guy snitched. He's going to die. How did this guy not die yet? Why would any, I get why, but also why would anybody fucking watch that music video? Like, also says the N-word so much and he's not black. Uh get him just the overall worst guy like i just feel like he's just so rude and bad and a bad person and just like fucking during meetings he shows up late for he sure hey dude let me tell you one thing for sure sam flashy fav nine has have sham flamphy fucking sham flamphy jean favreau nine has never fucking showed up to a meeting first he always shows up 10 minutes late, and he's just like, I'm punching 10 faces before we start. Where the face is at? I need to punch. Pow, pow. The smaller and, and, and more women, the better. Pow, pow. Uh, and so, anyway, I didn't watch the music video because they're not getting my click, dude. That's my new thing, dude. Not clicking. I'm not clicking. Fucking clickbait. I go like this. Oh, all right. And then I go like this. Whoop. Nope, I ain't clicking. Join me in the no click with the in the no click fucking zone, man. I don't get I don't get clicking on that shit. Um Takashi Blamfine has over fucking 200 tattoos of 69k. All good. But see ya. Hey, you're a dork, okay? 
Um, anyway, dude, enough of that shit. I got to do these ads. Hopefully there's not as many on the fucking YouTube shits. I, I hit my guy and they're not going to be doing that. Sh- that makes me mad, man. Everyone's sneaky as fuck, you know. Ship station. Uh, as folks adapt to this changing world, we are all going to be buying more stuff online than ever before. If you're an e-commerce seller, are you ready to meet the demands of the new delivery culture? Be ready with ship station. Why ship station? Well, when you're selling online, getting a lot of orders out can be fast and tough. Uh, uh, can be uh, getting a lot of orders out fast can be tough, rather. Uh, how do you keep track of who gets what? It's hard. Which shipping carrier should you use? Are you getting the best rates? That's why you need ShipStation.com. It was hard for me until I started using ShipStation.com. It's the fastest, easiest, and most affordable way to manage and ship your orders. I do it with my merch. People are like, whoa, I got this quick. Some guy tweeted me today. He said, I just ordered it, and it was already shi- and it just was shipped the next day. That's amazing. During, a- during this, amazing. So my fans always tweet me about how fast they get their orders, and it's friggin' awesome. Uh, right now, congratulations, listeners. Can try ShipStation free for 60 days when you use offer code congrats. Make sure your business is ready to meet the demands of delivery culture. Get started at ShipStation.com today. Uh, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and type in congrats. That's ShipStation.com. Then enter offer code congrats. ShipStation.com. Make ship happen. Bambi. When running a business, HR, take it from me, HR issues can kill you. Wrongful termination suits, minimum wage requirements, labor regulations, and HR manager salaries aren't cheap. An average of $70,000 a year. Bambi, smell, spelled B-A-M-B-E-E, was created specifically for small businesses. You can get a dedicated HR manager, craft HR policy, and maintain your compliance, all for just $99 a month. With Bambi, you can change HR from your biggest liability to your biggest strength. Your dedicated HR manager is uh, available by phone or email or real-time chat. It's awesome. And you're probably like, well, what is this, 40 Gs a month? Nope. It's $99 a month. What? Come on. Go to Bambi.com slash congrats right now to check uh, to schedule your free HR audit. That's Bambi.com slash congrats, spelled B A M. And then B-E-E dot com slash congrats. Dude, now let me level with you. Does it make me mad that one fire goes into the fuck into the fucking Google document of the ads and changes shit while I'm giving the ads and then completely messes me up? <laughs> yes, dude. Oh, it does it make me irate though? Yes. Does it make me blood curdling mad though? Yes. Does he still do it? Yes. It's all good. Yeah, it's all good. But it frigging makes me mad, dude. I even said suck me off to completion and he laughed hard. And then he fucking does that, dude. It's fucking bullshit. Um, so anyway, dude. Uh, what was I going to say about the thing, though? I got to live my life the way I want, man. Am I doing what I want enough? Am I doing what I want enough? That's what you got to ask yourself, dude. Because you got to do what you want as much as you can and possible in life. And if you don't, it's okay because you got to live for other people. Sometimes you fuck a girl and a baby comes out. Sometimes you fuck a guy and you fucking make it so you live with them. And then you have to like being like, oh, who's the guy? Who's the fucking top? Who's the bottom? You got to work shit out is what I'm saying. And sometimes you're like, but I don't want to get fucked in the butt. It's like, all right, but it's your turn. Or whatever the fuck it is, dude. You got to fucking live that hedonistic lifestyle because it rips, dude. Life rips, man. If you make it rip. And it's okay if it doesn't because it still still rips. I don't know, man. But my point is, is sometimes the podcast is good and sometimes it's bad. And I don't give a shit. And you guys are with me till the end, dude. You ride with me, man. You ride with me. I need to be a fucking hypnotist. I need to give up everything and just be a hypnotist, man. And just get people to do shit. That's what I am. Oh, shit. I realize I'm a hypnotist. That's what it is. Because Sir Fan Fine was like, fuck it, I snitched and then made it money off of snitching. When it, that's a bad thing. I got to double down and be like, fuck yeah, dude. That's that Trump shit. I never said it. Video of him saying it. Hmm, that's interesting. I don't know. I didn't I didn't say that. That was a different thing I said. What? Yeah. Whatever that is that you heard, that wasn't what I said and it wasn't what I meant. So, you're fake news. Is what it is, my babies.
Watch my Netflix special, No Pain. It's out streaming on Netflix. And then there's other ones, too, that I do on Netflix, uh, that I did on Netflix. <clears throat> Dude, I have a confession, man. Uh, I fucking... You know how sometimes you get the wrong shit sent to your house from someone else? Well, that happened. I got sent the wrong thing. I hate when I get the fucking someone else's mail, dude. Guess what? I have a thing. If if uh, if you get my mail at your house, that's your mail. That's your mail now. If it's a gift, you're welcome. If it's a bill, pay that shit. Okay? That's how we do it. The Postal Service works the way it works. And if you mail something somewhere else, that's the end of it, dude. That's what's happened to every single time I've gotten a jury duty letter. Never saw it. I mean, I don't even know if I've gotten it. I don't even know if they know I exist, the court. Because every time the fucking post office has sent me jury duty, I guess it's been lost. Because I've never seen one. All right? It's not that I've gotten it, seen it, and thought, oh, I'm not going. Because I'm a good guy. It's that I've never gotten a jury duty notice. And that's the truth. I'll put my hand on the, on the fucking Bible. And I'll say that to a, a police officer. All right? So I hope that person goes to the, be the juror for me. <laughs> All right? I hope that person sits in the fucking juror's box for me and goes like this, guilty, not guilty, I, I listen. Dude, imagine me in a fucking jury box. I swear to God, first of all, they would never pick me. They'd be like, so have you ever had any run-ins with the law? And I'd be like, oh, well, I fucking hope, no, but I can't wait. Well, you know, one time I fucking, they'd be like, you know what? We're, we're already, you're, you're, you're two guns blazing. All right, you're out. Bye. And I'd be like, well, then why the fuck I have to wake up at 6 a.m. and get here by 9, dude? I'm out in a fucking ripped T-shirt. You didn't even wear the right attire. I don't want to fucking be here, man. Hey, what the fuck? Arresting me. And then they got to get a fucking juror, jury, jury duty for me. And it's the guy that got my fucking shit. Oh, so this is the guy. This is the guy I got the mail from. Um, so, yeah, dude, if you get. Oh, man. And if I was ever selected in, in any of the fucking realm of possibility of. OK, yeah, we'd like to pick Mr. Uh, Dalia. I would be in the jury box. Uh, dude, I would roll my eyes so much that it would be loud. I would do it so hard that it would be loud. You'd hear me. You, you, you'd be like, and the, uh, okay, and so they'd be like d doing the cross-examination. So you're saying, Mr. Uh, Plum, that when you were in the parking lot, there were trees in the way. That's what you were saying between uh, the so-called victim and, and, and yourself. And the guy would be like, that's what I'm saying. And then you hear me in the back just be like, oh, come on, dude. Like, really? So oh, come on. S sir, what do they even do if a juror acts up? Do they stop it? All right, all right. Well, he's being a fucking dick. That would be me from the juror's box. And everyone here knows it. Because we talk about it behind them. When we take a recess, we fucking talk about it in the jury room or whatever the fuck it's called back there behind you, judge. We talk about it. And even the fucking bailer shot me a, bailiff shot me a look. look. Bailiff? Or the fucking female, what do you call a female bailiff? Bailiffette? The fucking bailiffette fucking gave me a look. So you do the fucking math, but I don't think he did it. Uh, can I get a, like a fucking pizza or something? I'm so hungry. You guys make me eat at the wrong times. <laughs> Dude, why fucking lunch, lunch at fucking 1130, really? I eat at fucking 1030, 330, 9, and fucking 1 a.m. And you make you fucked up my whole schedule, dude, because I'm, some guy stole a fucking the, the some money from a gas station. Anyway, um, so I, oh yeah, if you get my mail, that's it. If it's a gift, it's yours. If you fucking, if it's a bill, pay that shit. Okay. 
Now, I get mail most of the time. It's mine. Sometimes I get mail and it's someone else's. And, dude, I don't give it back to the person. That shit's mine, okay? If it's something like, okay, wow, this person really needs to get it, okay, I'll fucking, I'll Uber send it to somebody. But, dude, even if it's seven houses over, like, I got to walk down here now, they fucked up. That's the game, dude. The mail is mine now, okay? Thanks for these, you know, shorts or whatever the fuck people mail each other. Guess what I got, dude? I got cookies. I got cookies. I got cookies from a friend to another friend. And they showed up on my on my fucking thing. Not only was it the wrong mail because I know the name. By the way, dude, I'm not going to tell I'm not going to tell you who it was, but it was a fucking huge celebrity. And they got their cookies from a friend that was giving them cookies for a nice, hey, you know, just thinking of you. On, I got it on my doorstep. It had the huge celebrity's name on it, way bigger than me, dude. And, 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 it, and it wasn't delivered to the wrong place. It was delivered to the right place because they had my address on it. So you fucked up, cookie maker. So guess, guess what, dude? I ate the cookies. I ate the cookies. I ate that big celebrity's cookies. There were so many of them, and I ate them all. Sometimes I ate half of them, and I ate another half, and was watching The Sopranos, and I fucking threw away the rest of the two because, honestly, because I forgot I had them after three weeks, and they were a little bit stale. But I ate them, dude, and I didn't give them back. And that celebrity is not going to get those cookies. Okay? Because that's the game, dude. That's the game. If you miss... If you send cookies to the wrong... I t- my, my girl... She's like, we're going to make scones now for the fucking person. So now we got to give fucking scones to the goddamn celebrity. I got to show up. Imagine the fucking celebrity fucking not knowing just. Also, imagine the other person like, what the fuck? We told my dad about it. And he was like, yeah, you don't do that shit. He was like, what what kind of guy did I raise? And I was like, a fucking cookie eater. I'll tell you that much. Dude, the male. So I fucking ate the cookies, and they were pretty damn good, and thank you. Um, I'll have to find out who sent it. I, 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 um, I still have the note. It was a beautiful note. I read it. I read the note, and I, and I ate the cookies. And uh, they're mine, and it's fine, and it's going to be fine. And that person who sent the cookies is probably like, I wonder if that fucking celebrity got the cookies. And that person has no idea that the cookies even— Did you ever get my cookie? That, you know, that, I'm sure that didn't even happen yet because it's not, it hasn't been long enough. Uh, and they have no idea that Crystal Lee, the comedian, fucking sat in his living room watching The Sopranos eating those fucking red velvet cookies, man. There were red velvet cookies, and I ate them, dude. And there were also uh, a cookie called the, the beer cookie, and there was also a cookie called the cupcake cookie, and there was also a cookie called the chocolate chip cookie, and then there was also a gluten-free c- cookie. And I was like, yeah, right, dude. What the fuck am I, Mormon? I'm not eating a gluten-free chocolate chip cookie. It was a cookie crate. Was what they're called. And thanks, Cookie Crate. Anyway, dude. Well, I got to make fucking scones for the fucking... Sorry, Hillary Duff. It was Hillary Duff. Fucking ate Hillary Duff's cookies. I know her, too. Which is like, I did a movie with her, and I see her in my neighborhood sometimes. I ate Hillary Duff's cookies, dude. And she has no fucking idea. She has zero idea that those cookies are even were sent to her, probably. Or maybe she does, and she's like, where's my cookies? And Crystal Lee ate fucking Hillary Duff's cookies. And now I got to fucking make her scones or some shit. And she also fucking gave me other things, dude. Hillary Duff, she dropped off like eco-friendly dish soap and stuff. And it was like so sweet. And diapers and shit, eco-friendly diapers. And she was like, here. And I was like, oh, thanks. And then fucking her, I got her cookies and I ate them, dude. Like a real piece of shit. If you ever get my, my, that's the game though. My dad was like, oh, now you know what? Karma's going to come back around and that's going to fucking bite you in the ass. And I said, dude, this is the end of the karma. This is karma getting fucking her back for some shit or the cookie maker. I'm sitting pretty, dude. I'm a good guy. I ate those cookies because it was my karmic duty. Fuck yeah, dude. I figured it out. Whoa. I'm scot free, dude. I'm the fucking cookie monster, dude. Ah! 
I'm fucking, I'm the fucking cookie monster, dude. I ate Hillary Duff's cookies. Jeremy Renner, take me out. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Red velvet. Sensational. Chocolate chip cookie. Sensational. Birthday cake cookie. Sensational. Gluten-free fucking cookie. Fucking, that was chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> But also the fucking other one that I mentioned earlier that I forget. Sensational. Oh, fuck yeah, they were all... Sensational. Ah! Renner, take me out, dude. I fucking ate them, dude. I ate them and I went, nom, nom. More of the cookies went this way. The cookies went that way, dude. It was like sparks flying when a guy's in a montage of a movie making something, dude. Renner, take me out. Ah! I figured it out, dude. That's karma coming back around. Don't do bad shit and you won't get your fucking cookies eaten. Change the shot of the camera and it's all good. Dude, we lose our minds, man. Guess why this isn't eaten? Because I ate the fucking cookies instead. Kyle, fucking German Renner, take me out. Ah! Hell yeah, dude. I'm sweating. Because I do work for you guys. You know? I work for you guys. This is real life. I don't fucking sit around and dilly-dally and fuck around. I work for you guys. You know? I'm a sweaty guy because I work. When I work out, I go hard. I don't do the fucking bitch shit. My buddy is like, I do two workouts a day. I was like, really? I say, yeah, what do you do? He says, well, in the morning, I do a really fast walk, but I swing my arms when I do it. And I go like this. Bro, you're 48. Don't say you swing your arms for a workout. And then he also does fucking other things. The second part of the workout is an actual fierce one. Anyway, dude. Um... What's the fucking ads? Here we go, babies. We're doing more ads. (laughs) Dude. (laughs) I ate fucking Hillary Duff's cookies. All right. Uh, Well, got a fucking great. Got to get into my fucking email again because I I lost it. I lost the ads, dude. But it's all good, man. See, this is the stuff. This is the raw shit. What you see is what you get. Life fucking rips. Oh, dude. Manscaped. Uh... If you're bored in the house, why not play with your balls, right? Uh, Our sponsor today, Manscaped, is here to make sure your balls are smooth while you or your partner are playing with them. Manscaped promotes uh, clean hygiene when it comes to shaving your balls, thanks to their lawnmower 3.0. Manscaped is the only men's brand dedicated to below-the-waist grooming and hygiene, and I do it with the Manscaped 3.0, and I go in over the toilet, and I just... Just a little bit, nyum, nyum, and I come out, all the hairs fall in the toilet, and I flush it, and I'm looking pretty, dude, you know? The perfect tools for your family jewels. Uh, this perfect package 3.0 kit comes with the new and improved Lawnmower 3.0 waterproof, cordless body trimmer, and a ton of other liquid formulations to f- uh, round out your manscaping routine. It's awesome. And, of course, let's not forget about the crop preserver, an anti-chafing ball deodorant and moisturizer. Look, you put deodorant under your armpits. Why wouldn't you put it in your taint or your balls? Why wouldn't you do that? Those smell bad, okay? But not when you have this. Um... This is a perfect package for your perfect package. Do yourself a favor and always use the right tools for the job. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code BABIES at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com. And use code BABIES. Make playing with your balls the best part of your day. Thanks, Manscaped. So. <clears throat> wow, dude. Renner take me out is good. Uh... I'm in a good mood, and nobody can stop me, man. What if you said that and then killed yourself? That would be fucking amazing. I'm in a good mood, and nobody could stop me. Dude, one time I was at uh, fucking dinner with my friend. No, it was lunch. I was at with my friend, and we were four of us, and <laughs> and we were eating, and he fucking just, and, and we were all laughing. He's like, ha, 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 yeah. And he took a pill and, and drank water. And I said, I'm taking cyanide. And he fucking spit the water out everywhere. 
And that's a fucking funny f- joke for that ass that you can do every time someone's just taking pills and they don't like, mention taking pills. Dude, if you're at a fucking restaurant and you take pills, you got to be like, yo, guys, I'm going to take a pill right now. You can't just ca- fucking casually pop fucking pills in your mouth and shit. There's laws. Um, yeah, there's laws, dude. <laughs> Suck me up to completion, dude. Uh, what about fucking actually before even that? Uh, uh, here, here's something that I'm not doing, okay? And everyone can stop asking me because I'm getting real comedians asking me to do this. Like comedians that are fucking even like do headlining gigs and shit. I'm not, and you can stop texting me if you know me personally or asking me if you don't on Twitter or whatever the fuck or DMing me <clears throat> to do a Zoom comedy show, okay? I'm not doing a fucking Zoom comedy show. Do you know why? Two reasons. That's a fucking horrible idea, number one. And number two, I have a successful podcast. So I have an outlet for or an outlet for it. Outlad? Hmm. I'm pissed. Whenever I mistake a word, I usually don't go back and say it and I, I usually don't go back and correct it. That's the word now. Okay? Outlad. I don't even understand what, what was I saying about it? What was the word? Outlad? What was that? Outlet. 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 Outlet, dude. I have an outlad. I have a fucking outlad. And it's my part. It's my podcast. Do you understand me, dude? I have an outlad and it's my podcast. So fucking Irish, dude. What are words? Anyway, dude. I beep like Kanye. So I'm not doing a Zoom comedy show, man. Because it's going to be fucking awful. All right? I have my podcast. It's all set up. I'm I'm up here doing my shit. Dude, I got ding, ding. I got a guy who texted me nine times. You want to do one of this, this? It's fucking no. I'm fine with doing just no stand-up until stand-up comes back round. Um, Because, dude, the, 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 well, I don't understand, too. There's like, well, yeah, but you already are successful. Like these comedians, they're like, well, we're doing a Zoom. Co-. Just start a podcast, dude. Just talk shit. Vice, vice, dude, which, Welcome to which Zoom. is just vice, you know? They did a fucking stand-up comedy in the age of, I walked, I, I went down to find out stand-up comedy in the age of social distancing. I have glasses. So they went to go fucking. No, this is the stay at home comedy show. I kind of don't want to do material right now because all. My jokes are set BC, uh, like before Corona. Thinking that. Look, I, it's not even that these people aren't funny. I'm sure they are funny. This is just not the medium for it. No knock on these motherfuckers. These people are probably talented. If they get on the stage, I'm sure they could crush. And I also like feel for these motherfuckers because I remember doing stand up starting out and whatever. I don't know if these people are starting out or not. But like Vice did a whole thing on canceled would you be down to try just doing it streaming like a live show like a live show but it'd just be us doing it to our computer and like no laughter and no audience and no feedback but that's just a podcast so just say it's a podcast this guy looks cool i would fucking hang with this guy um but it's just not gonna it's not gonna be funny if you do it, it's not going to be funny if you do. That's the thing, man. Everything is different. Like, I always, like, I always, like, try to make it, like, Instagram. I'm not going to do Instagram like I'm going to do this podcast. I'm not going to do this podcast like I'm going to do my stand-up. I always say this. It's all for different mediums. Some people like me on Instagram. They don't like my podcast. Some people like my stand-up. They don't like my fucking Twitter because it's different. And it has to be because it's a different medium. If I were to do my tweets like my stand-up, my Twitter would be awful. My Twitter is awful. But you know what I mean? It's like, um, you know, I, I, it, it's, just, it's just you can't do the thing you want to do so much in this, in this medium that way. <clears throat> 
It's also like, okay. <coughs> Rona. It's okay to not be funny, like as a comedian. Or not be rip-roaringly hilarious. Dude, when I started this podcast, I didn't think it was going to be. I didn't know if it was going to be funny or not. I just thought it was going to be funny to me. You got to do what makes yourself laugh, man. You have to do what makes yourself laugh. That's what I do. That's all I fucking do is, and I'm, you know, this isn't advice or what, but like Zoom, this Zoom comedy shit, it's got to go, dude. It's not funny. I mean, fucking the best comedians can do it and it won't be good. It's just, it's not the medium for it. Do a podcast. Do this. This wouldn't <clears throat> work on stage. <clears throat> this is me bullshitting. If I were to come out and have a thing like, I'm going to talk about this, I'm going to do this material, I'm going to do that material, it would be fucking atrocious, dude. You'd sniff it in a minute and you'd fucking hang up on me. This is a phone call. But you'd click out of the YouTube, man. You'd turn it off Spotify. You'd say, get out of here, iTunes podcast. This is the podcast. This is not stand-up comedy. Big believer in that, man. Um... Anyway, dude, Vice Zoom comedy. Vice. I just, let me see. Let's look up some of these Zoom comedy shows. I mean, some of them are my Welcome friends, probably. Zoom I don't, don't want to bash anybody. To stay at these home. guys look, I'm sure they're successful and funny and shit, and I'm sure they're good on stage. I, I feel for these dudes. I get it. It's a rough time, but this is not the answer. Um, Zoom, let's just Google Zoom comedy show. Somebody was like, dude, somebody hit me up and they were like, hey, fucking uh, hit me. Uh, you could do a set and we'll pay you thousands of dollars. And, it, and it, you know, we don't record it and leave it up. It's just live. And I'm like, dude, you don't think someone's going to fucking record it and put it up? And I'm going to look like a fucking huge jackass. Improv comedy show by eight. That's another thing I don't get is. Uh, um. I watched, first of all, I watched uh, Middle Ditch and, Sh- and Schwartz, I, and it was funny. They're funny. Those guys are fucking funny. Um, that's like the best version of that to me. But long form improv to me is so weird. Like, it's just, I mean, I get that, you know, people are, uh, the people who do it are funny. I don't know if it's for me. I want to try to do long form imp- improv to see what it is like. But I just don't. They're just like, so what's up with a fucking. Give me a suggestion. Anybody got a suggestion? And they're like, sure. Police. Okay. All right. Police. Okay. Uh, does anybody have a time arrow they want it to be in? 1980. All right. Please. 1980. All right. Cool. Um, does anybody have an object? A chicken. Sure. Sure. Okay. Chicken, please. Okay. Chicken, please. I'm already bored as shit. Okay, does anybody have a fucking name? Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, okay, okay, Lisa. Okay, Lisa. Okay, okay, Lisa. Okay, okay, Lisa is a c- car and a police and it's a chicken and it's 1980. Okay, does anybody have anything random they want to just throw out there? A full four wheeler. Okay, okay, so it's a, it's a police officer and Lisa and it's just. It's a four li- four four li- wheeler and a fucking nineteen uh, eighties. Okay, so and see, here we go. Hi, I'm Lisa. I have a chicken. I'm a cop, and I'm in a four liter four wheeler. And it's nineteen eighty four. And everyone's just like, oh, <laughs> eat my asshole. I'm making fun of it, dude. There's good versions of it. Okay. So don't come at me with this fucking long form infrob is actually fucking if you look at the ass cat or if you look at the upright substance brigade, dude, no, okay? Just fucking sure. <laughs> I don't know. Cancel me already. So I can just fucking become right wing, you know? I wanna become right wing. Cancel me. Cancel me so I can become right wing in three years. So I can dip out of the shadows. <clears throat> Good, I have a cough. Yes! Um, so. 
What do we have left? Dude, what do we have left? How many fucking times do we have left? I know I told you that story about one time I said fucking how many times is it to my dad and my dad asked that my dad was so pissed off. I said instead of how much longer do we have to go? How much longer till we're there? And he was driving to the toll booth. I said, ask the toll guy how many times is how many times is it? And he goes, like, oh, fucking Chris, I don't know. How many times is it? To the fucking toll booth guy. Um so uh yeah. I did a Zoom fucking thing with my buddy. My buddy fucking asked me to do Zoom with him and a few fans because to, so to help him out, I did it. I did the Zoom. It wasn't a comedy show. I fucking worked out while I Zoomed it, dude. I do what I do on the Zoom shit. And <clears throat> I always wanted to know about this guy who does fucking... Oh, wait, dude. D fucking railman. This is what I want to look up. I've always wanted to look this shit up on the podcast. There's been 200 episodes or something, so I don't think that we've done this before. But this guy, I found this so long ago. And this guy, it's called, his name is Daniel Songer, all right? And I found this guy years ago on YouTube. And he does comedy act. This is the original Zoom comedy show guy, okay? His, his YouTube is Dan Poet Man, all right? Oh. Now, this guy is the most life's unraveling guy of all time. His wife or partner left him for sure. And this guy was like, great, who gives a fuck? I'm starting a YouTube channel. And all of a sudden was like, I'm a comedian. I'm going to do comedy shows. This guy is a fucking genius by mistake. All right? This is his comedy show. Dude, it's, he's got 267. Comedy Act 267. We are the people. Comedy Act 266, the greatest comedy act. <clears throat> Story Act 265. Happy Easter in the name of, I don't know. They, it is a, Story Act 258, The Irishman. These are just Comedy Act 246, We the Men. Oh, they already did We the People. He did We the Men or, or before that. So that's pretty cool. Comedy Act 238, Condom Smile. Well, we got to watch. This is the one we're going to listen to. Here we go. Com- comedy Act. So it Ladies always starts. And- dude. The fucking video starts always without him, and then he introduces himself, and it's just a shot of, like, trees or in front of his garage or on his deck, and then he'll walk into it. And it's so dope, dude. Comedy act. Please, I am introducing the world to Daniel Songer. Comedy act 238 condom smile. Oh. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, comedian, entertainer, Daniel Songer. He always gets so out of breath in the first fucking minute, too. It's amazing. Wow. Starts it off by going like this. Hey! (laughs) Comedian, entertainer, Daniel Songer, back here with a condom smile. Oh! Comedian, entertainer, Daniel Songer, back here with a condom smile. Dude, he has condoms taped on his red shirt. In a smile. They look used. And he's wearing shorts. The guy never wears pants. Only wears shorts. So gave up on life and is the shit. So life's unraveling. Lost his job. And goes like this. Fine, fuck it. I'm a comedian anyway. And then started doing this. Wow, dude. The guy's face gets so red. It's as red as his shirt. Yes, that's it. Comedy at 238. Condom smile. Hey, you know what, guys? I have never been one to go up to a lady. And just say, you know, just just even to say, you know, hey, I, I want to talk dirty to you, you know, let alone, you know, going up to a lady and say, do you want to do something dirty with me? Uh, <laughs> you know, I just have never been that kind of man, you know. Uh, but when I was a teenager, I uh, would walk up to a pretty girl and I'd really, say, really. do you want to screw? Yeah, I'd open my hand, and there lies a screw. Oh, the worst yeah, joke you know, of but all today, time. today, so I'm breath. telling you, man, you don't even have to open your hand. Condom smile, condom smile. Yeah, you don't even have to open your hand. Oh. Condom smile. The dance he does, dude. Yeah, you know, it's oh, like God, hey, I love what. He- I love when the joke, I love when the joke, when the punchline happens and he's just like, you know. Hey, 
do you want to do something dirty? Yeah, I mean, it's just, woo! I'm telling you, explosion! Oops, it's trailing off. Condom smile! And brought it back. Call back, call back. Very good call back. Okay, cool. Um, Let's go to another one, dude. Wow, this guy's in his speedo. Here we go. Comedy Act 216, The Eligible Bachelor. Oh, wait, hold on. Comedy Act 215, Shit Happens Rear-Ended. MPJ. Didn't take the MPJ off it. Dude, retitle it! Okay, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen. Vast backyard. Comedian, oh. entertainer, Daniel Songer. Oh, wow. Short song. Wow. He dresses like a rapist, for real. One that, a date rapist. Hey! The way he begins it always. So he goes... With his back like this, and then crosses his hands, and then turns around like this, and goes, "Hey, wow, dude!" Yes, that's me, oh, wow. comedian, entertainer Daniel Songer, Comedy Act two hundred and fifteen. It's your new superhero. Yeah, that's me, your new superhero. And, All buddy, energy. I want to tell you guys about three great books of poetry available at danpoetman.com. Oh, he's a poet. Three poetry books available at danpoetman.com. Now, that's going to give you some ads. inspiration, guys. Uh, they're song I lyrics. Know you know, I mean, you can sing along, you know. I want to be your hero. I want to be your man. The hero. Yeah. Oh, Amen. Always ends with a yeah. <laughs> wow. This guy's amazing. What is this guy? Dan Poet Man. What, what I'd like to do for you. Oh, whoa. These are the early ones? Whoa. 2007. He's wearing a fucking hat that like James Cagney would wear. And he's got a tie on. Is called the Queen of the Thunder. The lightning flashed. Then I heard the thunder roar. Oh, he does poetry. Wow. Dude, what was the guy who sings those fucking Juan Fire? What was the guy who sings those fucking Imagine all the people? Remember the guy who sings like that? Okay, try to find him. Dude, that guy. Oh, my God. That guy has so many... Oh, fuck, I wish we could find that shit. This is awesome. We're just hanging out. Uh, Daniel Songer. I got to find more of this guy here. There were some of them. Videos. Down in a damn poetry. The Christmas. Oh, wow, he loves this red shirt. Living hitchhiker. Did you find it? No? Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, you text it? Text it. All right, here we go. This guy is so great. Did you text it? Oh, well, naturally text it. Dude, you got to you gotta hear this guy sing. This guy's so great. Talk about S uh, divorce guy. Okay, here we go. Tim Byrne. That's his name. Wow. This guy. Okay. Oh, okay, dude. <laughs> This guy, oh, wow. Okay, in his kitchenette, Timothy Byrne. This has somehow 55,000 views. You just got to hear this. The most insecure singing of all time, dude. This is the most insecure singing of all fucking time, dude. And it's also the best singing I've ever heard in my life. He's sweating so hard already. Just so nervous. When I find myself in times of trouble, oh, Mother Mary comes to me. Same note. Every Speaking time. words of wisdom, let it be. Not one note different. Every note is the same note. And in my hour of darkness, she is standing right in front of me. So offbeat. Same note. Speaking words of wisdom, let it be. All the same note. Let it be. 
went let a little lower be, there. Let it be, Running out of breath so hard. Going to pass the fuck out. It's un- so hard. And hit his head on the fucking stove handle. And it's going to bleed. And then he's going to wake up in fucking broken one hour. Not say anything to anybody. Not call anybody. And just make toast. There will be an answer. And then eat it and sit down uh, and think be, about how much it hurts and then go to bed. And the thought before he goes to bed is going to be, be I, I, I hope I don't have a concussion a because I might die tonight. And then wakes up the next morning and decides to do another song. Will be an That's exactly what happened. Uh, uh, let it be. Oh, the whole five brother. Let it be. Let it be. Oh, this is the real. Let it be. Let it be. This is the real fucking when it goes. You know when all songs go higher, songs go higher to fucking knock you out of the park. You know what I mean? A song will be like, "Let me be your hero, baby," and then it fucking you can take my breath away, and then it goes fucking, "Let me be your hero." You know what I mean? I can watch away the pain. Let me be your hero! It's racist. And so, um... There will be an answer. Let it be. Let it be. Let it the be. The description is me singing to be. piano CD. Let oh. it be. And okay, let's look at some... I think he does, like, a ton of them. Okay, so it's the... Uh, oh, he starts talking. I knew he was British. Go start some music up. Just not playing. God bless this motherfucker. I love this dude. This is a guy I would be friends with in eighth grade, and my mom would be like, I can't be friends with his parents. Why can't you fucking pick a guy that's like, here's another song this guy's doing. Oh, I love this guy, dude. I make fun of him because I love him. You understand? This guy. Oh, he's... This is a... Oh, he does... There's just a video of him... Saying hello. Uh. <laughs> hmm, that was an odd one. I don't really know what to make of that one. Okay, that was a video he posted. Okay, here's another one. This is great, dude. This episode's a little longer, but I'm having a lot of fun. What's a good song? Sometimes, maybe it's you. Maybe it's you. Jeez, this guy keeps singing the same thing over and over again. Sometimes, so far away. Please rescue me now. What's this one? Right. Okay. Timothy James Burn. Timothy James Burn here again. I mean, my rented flat in Homebush, England. Today's the 19th of August 2019. Let me show you a second date section. Oh, try. he's not in Love pants. Both Ted would have the swiper if I get back to her. It's the 19th of August in oh. 2018, and the love boat is on. Uh, let's see, yes, is that Anne Baxter? Possibly, I'm not sure. Anyway, okay. so that, that's what's on television. I'm, I'm making this video because. Let me show you. There are a hundred videos of the same thing. I made this video because I'm concerned with something that's just happened with me. I've, I've just um, gone to look at my uh, boiler, which has my hot water, and it seems it's like it's been uh, sabotaged. There's actually like a big hole in the. Um, this is what, what happened to Vince Vaughn. Where, where it wouldn't be a hole. It's like I've been sabotaged here. I'm saying this because I'm, asked, this, I'm actually making here an SOS video. I'm stuck in this house, 42 Amherst Hill, Homebush, England. I'll show you where it is in a moment. I'll start my PC up and show you where it is. I'm asking somebody now, please come here now. This Not today, this moment, now, this second. Come here and please rescue me from this, this uh, house I'm stuck in. I'm in this house with these psychos like this thing up there and these uh, terrorists that are uh, screwing around this construction site next to me. I'm asking yeah, you yeah. And I feel bad now. Dude, the Brian's Instagram about the fucking movie. Oh my god, dude! Did you see Brian Callen's Instagram uh, for of his fucking movie, dude? Oh my god, Brian Callen. And then I'm gonna go. Sorry, I'm having fun tonight. Uh, in Instagram, here we go. When he did a movie and he posted it, it's called Think Like a Dog. Oh, I can't fucking play it on my thing. Here we go. This is so funny to me. 
the, the movie technology. Think Like a Dog. Human it's about a kid and a dog that talks. If we had a human. He says, Think Like a Dog. Check out this movie I shot with Megan Fox, Josh Duhamel, and uh, another guy, and directed by yada yada. And the whole fucking thing. He's not in the trailer. And it's on his Instagram. And then he... Hey guys, uh, and then, by the way, a day later, post hey this. Hey, guys, uh, I guess I posted that. I made you guys watch that trailer for that My Friend's Dog movie for kids. <laughs> I, I didn't watch it. I didn't realize I wasn't in it. I'm sorry <laughs> to make all you adults watch that try children's trailer movie about a dog. Oh, forgive me. I should look. I should. It's my dear friend who directed Dude, who cares? Here's the thing, man. You subjected 856,000 people to watch that fucking thick like a dog thing. They're all adults. Nobody is going to see that movie because you posted it. First of all, you're not in the goddamn thing. Second of all, kids don't follow you, man. You're 52. S, the whole thing is reeks of 52-year-old. He posted the fucking preview of Think Like a Dog, a movie about a talking dog with a child, is not in it, and then makes an apology video and then left the video up. The guy's insane. The guy's unbelievable. Bro, it's the funniest shit ever. All right. I'm done, man. Just remember fucking let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be. They're speaking words of wisdom. Let it be. So check out Tim Byrne and fucking Dan Poet Man and YouTube. Uh, you guys are the best. You can text me at uh, 818-239-7087. I'm trying to figure out my live dates. I don't know what's going on with this COVID shit. Um, but that's it, man. Uh, watch No Pain and all my stuff on uh, on uh, Netflix. And then there's also that White Male Black comic. You can watch this, my first special. Um, but you guys, thanks for listening. And subscribe to my channel, dude. Uh, and uh, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Uh, you guys are great. Renner, take me out. Thanks. Oh, dot, dot, dot to completion?